Hi, this is Happy Reefer again. Um, I'm making this video for for reef success, you know, long-term reef success. And what I've what I've found with some of the online videos is, um, you know, with a lot of a lot of views, 50, 60, 70 thousand views, and they're telling you false information or misleading information. And while they're showing you a beautiful tank, um, beautiful corals in their tank and everything, they're, some of the stuff that they're telling you is has major pitfalls. And the only people you need to, to listen to and take that information to the bank is people with long-term success, uh, meaning people who've been doing it for 20 and 30 years, like Mike Paletta, uh, Sanjay, and and some of the other the big names in reef keeping uh, people that are writing books and literature on on reef keeping and have been doing it for a majority of their life um, what I found on, on some of these YouTube videos is people telling you um, the misleading information like to run a deep uh, deep sand bed benefits of a deep sand bed um, you can notice here uh, my sand is not even above the plastic line on the bottom of my tank. Um, what a deep sand bed, uh, you have to weigh benefits uh, benefits of what you're getting over, <laughs> over b the bad things that can happen. And the bad things that can happen with a deep sand bed is over time, the detritus and uneaten food and solid waste and stuff that, that everybody knows as you're gravel vacuuming uh, we've all ran ran a gravel vac and you see that waste coming out of your sand over time it will build up underneath your live rock um, and become anaerobic an anaerobic area of of a no water movement no oxygen and very dangerous compounds um, like hydrogen sulfide um, can actually leak from those areas and and cause catastrophic tank wipeout, um, a major drop in your in your pH and wipe out your whole system, which is why we no longer run under gravel filters. Um, nobody wants to run an under gravel filter. It's pulling uneaten food and algae and waste down underneath your gravel bed and leaving it down there, and it becomes toxic. So we do not want a deep sand bed underneath our live rock. Um, nobody wants to move all their live rock. And um, there's actually very, very successful systems, uh, the Monaco systems, that are running their live rock on a bare glass tank bottom. No substrate whatsoever in the bottom of their tank. Strictly live rock. Um, now the benefits of having um, I would recommend to beginners to run aragonite and to run an inch to an inch and a half at the most of aragonite in the bottom, not not the pretty sand. Never buy any colored sands or, or fine sands. The aragonite is going, the benefits you're going to get from that is it's going to help balance your calcium, help balance your pH and your alkalinity. Um, and that's what you're going to get. It's you're gonna uh, get get your established reef cleaners, your hermits, your Nasarius stales, your sand sifting stars. They're gonna get in there and they're gonna be able to effectively move over that inch, one inch sand bed. They're gonna be able to to dig in it and uh, and, and keep it clean. Plus the the gravel vacuuming and water movement. Um, you're gonna have much better long term success. Um, you know, running a, a deeper sand bed in a refugium, um, you know, I know there's benefits to that, but again, I'm, I'm telling you this, do not run a three or a four inch sand bed in your reef tank. It is not going to do good things for your long-term success of your reef tank. I, I promise you that. Um, it's misleading information and the benefits do not outweigh the negative effects that can, can occur. Um, most experienced reef keepers and um, 
people that have been doing it for 15, 20 years, if you watch the Mike Paletta videos, things like that, they are, they're not running a three and a four inch sand bed. And they have actually written literature stating that you should not run uh, a three or a four inch sand bed. There is a, a method known as uh, the Berlin style method where they're basically putting one inch PVC pipes in the bottom of their the aquarium and then egg grate on top of that and then putting aragonite and sand on top of that and allowing the water to basically flow underneath the sand bed. Um, you can google it, it is a the Berlin style uh, reef you know for keeping reef tanks it's the Berlin method, the Monaco methods, the other one I I mentioned um, both very successful large scale uh, successful aquariums that have been running for for long times. The other um, is a Smithsonian method which is basically employing uh, algal scrubbers, large scale algae scrubbers. They are growing algae uh, to denitrify their water. So uh, pumping their tank water out and growing growing algaes in, in refugiums, people have had, had luck with that. Um, the best luck you're going to have is keeping your nitrates, phosphates at zero and having no algae at all in your tank. But again, I, I hope uh, some of you watch this video. I, I just hate to see new, n new reef keepers, people who are just getting into this. I, you know, I'm making this video because I, I'm watching these YouTube videos and I'm, I'm feeling bad for the people who are taking this information to the bank or they're, they have a hair algae outbreak in their tank and they're watching a video and taking information from somebody who has hair algae in their tank. Um, like, yeah, here's my tank full of hair algae and I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. You should be taking your information from somebody who has zero hair algae in their tank. And uh, do not put additives, algae additives in your tank. Um, you know, some of these videos with a million views and they're telling them to put Foss RX or algae fix in your tank. Um, th those are not appropriate terms and I do have other videos that will walk you through appropriate ways to remove hair algae from your tank. Um, you know, again, this this video is basically just on on the sand beds and I've seen, seen a few videos um, of people who have nice looking reef tanks that are less than two years old but um, they have three and four inch sand beds and are telling you that it's important to run a deep sand bed and I'm telling you time proven reasons why not to run a deep sand bed so again this is Happy Reefer with the two happy clowns um, I hope you got some information from this video thanks guys